What's going on, fellas? Welcome back to the channel, man. It's your boy, and we're back playing some more of Marvel Future Fight. And for this one, man, like Mama used to say, I wanted to give y'all a little bit more variety in y'all lives. So once again, we're gonna be playing some more World Boss Ultimate using Gambit. However, this time, instead of showing you guys how high you can clear against one particular World Boss, I wanted to show you guys how he performs against the other World Boss Ultimate stage. Ages. Proxima, Colipsidian, Ebony Ma, and Thanos. Because that's one of the great things about Gambit. Gambit is one of the very few characters in this game right now that can complete every single World Boss Ultimate stage on his own at a very high level. Very, very, very few characters in this game can do this. And I was very, very surprised when I was playing around with him and I figured out that he could do this. Like, this is crazy. Even though he's such a one-dimensional character where he deals a ton of damage very, very quickly, but he also dies very, very, very quickly if you're not careful with him. He actually has multiple different uses when it comes to World Boss Ultimate. He's arguably one of the most valuable characters here if not the most valuable character and I was even more surprised when I found out that he can clear very very high against this old geezer right here Ebony Ma who we all know you should be using elemental characters against Gambit does not have an element but I guess really high DPS is now an element right because yeah he can clear this even past stage 30 with no support well, with no strikers. He definitely needs support characters, but he definitely doesn't need strikers. Anyways, enough rambling, man. I wanted to show you guys this because this is actually pretty crazy. If any of you guys are thinking about picking up Gambit and you're struggling in World Boss Ultimate, hopefully this gives you a little bit more insight on the character because honestly, boys, he's freaking awesome. He dies really quickly, but he's still freaking awesome. All right, so we're going to test out Gambit right here on stage 15. No support, no strikers against Call Obsidian. This is the boss that basically everyone hates fighting. And Gambit is just shredding this, guys. I got stunned there by the Pentagon trap, but it's fine because he has terrible aim. Now, you're going to notice that when I fight Call Obsidian, the only skill I use to do damage is the fifth skill. And that's all you really need. What you should ideally try to do is use the three skill to escape taking damage. A lot of people, in my opinion, aren't using the third skill the way how they should be using it if they want to try and maximize Gambit's survivability. Because honestly, whenever you're playing Gambit, in my opinion, you should try to complete whatever it is you're trying to complete without ever taking any damage. Right? You should ideally be going for a flawless victory with him. Just because if you get super reckless, you will die very, very quickly. Like one or two hits, you're dead. Especially against Colipsidian with insane bleed damage. Yeah. Like 15 is a joke. But let's see if we can take off a couple more bars off of this guy. Let's push him a little bit further. I don't want to kill him. Because this would be a waste of a clear. Okay, we'll just do it right there. So a minute and 20 seconds. We already have this guy down to three bars. Three bars. That's no team up, no support, nothing. Right? Crazy stuff, boys. Let's get out of here and try 30 and see how it goes. All right, so we're going to run 30 with Ghost Panther and Valkyrie for support. And we're doing it with no strikers, boys. So we're going to treat this exactly the same way we treated 15 and we're just going to use the 5 skill off cooldown and use the 3 skill to retreat. We're not going to use any other skills. What the hell just happened there? I'm not sure if that was lag or what, but yeah.
Whenever you're going up against Cull Obsidian, you always want to keep moving because this guy will teleport and try to hit you. So you always want to keep moving. That way when he teleports, he's not right on top of you. Yo, this guy is so annoying, bro. Yo, can you chill, guy? Damn, the prop did not line up well there at all. I guess this is what happens when you're running a crappy obelisk on this guy. Still, he's putting out a decent amount of damage for not having any Urus. And still, no CTP. Really, really want a CTP of energy for him so badly. I feel like if he had a CTP of energy, he could just cut through this whole thing in like maybe a minute, a minute and a half. I don't have the DPS to crack that shield. I think that shield is the equivalent of three or four HP bars off of Black Dwarf, right? Which is a lot. That is saying a lot because he has a lot of HP. So I never waste my DPS trying to crack that shield. I just stand at the bottom of the map and let him go critical because it's not really gonna affect anything. Yeah, it's a super easy clear with Gambit. As long as you just use five off cooldown, stay the hell away from this guy, just keep moving and just keep using the three skill to retreat. Like I said, just keep away from this guy and treat it like you're going for a flawless baby because otherwise you're gonna die. But who knows, maybe some of you guys are more skilled and you can go 5, 4, 3 and you'll be perfectly fine. But for me, 5, run, 3 if I need to, and then repeat, I find is most effective for me. But then again, I'm a scrub. So, woo, let me dodge that. Okay, we good, we good, we Gucci. Alright, so what is that? A minute and 58 seconds left. Not bad, not bad. I know some of you guys are probably saying, oh, you pause that because you're about to get hit. You know what? Let's unpause that and keep going. Super soft. Yeah. This is light work. Let's get out of here and go test him against Ebony. All right, we're going to see how fast we can clear stage 15 against Ebony Maw with no support now you guys are seeing those ones don't worry about that it's always like that at the beginning of the fight but check this next one Woo! like butter baby like butter beautiful beautiful guys now ebony ma is more annoying for me at the very least than Cull obsidian because he iframes a lot and oftentimes you will try to cancel out your fifth skill. And on top of that, his attacks are a little bit harder to evade sometimes than Cull Obsidian. Also, he can hit you while you're in your fifth skill. Whereas for Cull Obsidian, he can't. Well, Cull Obsidian can, but it's a smaller window. Because the fifth is not a full iframe. There's a slight chance you can take damage. I wasn't paying attention there. Whatever. There's a slight chance you can take damage when you're in the fifth skill. But more often than not, you'll be fine against Cull Obsidian. Whereas against Ebony Ma, he has a skill that will actually hit you while you're in iframe. So yeah. Look at this. Minute and seven seconds. Four bars left. Light work. Let's get out of here and try 30. All right, let's see if we can match the time we got against Call Obsidian. What do we have? A minute and 58 seconds left? Let's go. Whew. 
Croc is a little bit behind. That's fine. Damn, we missed the proc all together there. Wow. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, it'd be like that. It'd be like that. We missed it again, bro. Wow. Yeah, I really need to get him a better obelisk, man. At least we got it there. Eat this deck. Nice, nice. Yeah, <laughs> nice try. This guy tried to hit me from the shadows. That third skill, hella useful. Nice, nice, nice. Damn, we got no damage there. His summons took all the aggro. Really? Wow. No damage there either. Come on. Come on. Wow. Wow. They allowed us to target him while he was in the iframe and all we got was one. <laughs> that sucks. Can you take the deck? Oh, we got a decent amount of damage there. That third skill, too clutch. Ah, damage is not that good there. Yo, this skill is hella annoying. I'm happy I wasn't in the fifth skill. But then again, I think I could have avoided that even while I was in the fifth skill just because the fifth skill you can move around, but you just move kind of slowly. Well, actually, it moves about a, a little bit slower than when he's running. So, yeah. Yeah, we can definitely beat this much faster than we did against Call of City. And that's actually crazy, boys. <laughs> Yo! You mean to tell me that even though we're supposed to use elemental characters here, he's actually doing much better here than I did against Call of City. That's crazy. That's how crazy Gambit is. Oh my goodness. All right, so we're going to do one quick run right here against Proxima. Stage 15, no support, no strikers. And I want to see how this goes. Proxima is actually much more difficult than Call Obsidian and Ebony Maw just because she has a lot of energy defense. So ideally, you should not be using energy-based characters against her. You should be using Deadpool, Captain America, Winter Soldier, Quicksilver, those characters. War Machine is also really good here too. You should ideally be staying away from energy-based characters because they're taking a massive, massive reduction in their overall DPS. But Gambit is so freaking powerful and because of the all defense down, He's actually able to complete this stage. However, another reason why, in my opinion, this is harder than Call Obsidian and Ebony Maw is because Proxima has a lot more long range attacks. So it's much, much harder at the very least for me to evade her skills and keep Gambit alive. Because Call Obsidian and Ebony Maw, their attacks, when they attack you, Oftentimes, they're on the screen. You can see them, right? So you can see the attacks coming and it gives you the opportunity to at least try and dodge them. Hold up. Ooh, damn it. That was a little bit too slow. I was trying to be slick there where I was going to transition. Well, I did it. In fact, I was going to transition out of the three into the five without getting hit, but I still got hit. It's fine. I stopped a little bit too early. Anyways, Proxima, she can snipe you off screen and it's really 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 hard to evade her attacks right and sometimes she fires an attack it goes off the map and he comes back from like five different directions so you have to worry about that on top of the other effects in here like the twisters the pentagon trap the purifying wind it's just much much more chaotic and a character like gambit with no native healing yeah it's 
really, really hard to pull up. Let me see. Ooh, whoa, that was clutch. Boys, we clutched it. Anyways, right there, I should have straight up died. If I wasn't in the fifth skill, I would have been fine. And somehow I evaded it while I was in the fifth skill. Don't ask me how, guys. I activated my Sharinga. Don't ask me how. Anyways, let's see if we can finish this up. I'm not going to beat this stage because I want to try him out against Thanos and show you guys how he does there as well. I think my Gambit would actually tap out at about 25 against proxima unlike against the other world bosses where he can go up to 30 just because of the energy defense and how chaotic this gets it would be really really hard to keep him alive on 30 because she hits so much harder let's see if we can take off some more of her hp though yo 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 it's getting hella tight knees weak bombs are sweaty Come on, Gambit, or as Wolverine would say, Gumbo. <laughs> oh my, Woo! oh, I tried to be slick there with the four. She was not having it, boys. She was not having it. Yeah, we can still beat this. One more fifth skill, light work. We out of here. All right, boys, we're going all in at the gate, man. This is the big guy, Thanos. We're going to try him on 15 and see what it looks like. Oh, wow. Wow, I was not expecting to take off two bars with just a fifth there. Goddamn. Hold up. See if there's some content. Yo. Hold up, my guy. Yo, this is some legit damage right here. Yeah, it looks like my guy can definitely do maybe like 25 against Thanos. That's crazy. Let me see if I can dodge these fools. This is going to be tight. Ooh. Damn it, I got hit by one. It's okay. It's okay. Yeah, sucker. <laughs> oh, shit. I'm talking all that smack. Next thing you know, this guy. Ooh, that scared me. That scared me. I thought I started the three skill too late and I was going to get um time frozen by the Pentagon trap. Yo, I'll come in soon, my guy. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Ooh. I'm going to have to wrap this up real quick and go help out my alliance. These guys are doing conquests. I barely ever do conquests anymore. Woo! Guy trying to get. Yo, if I get hit by that Titan Punch, bro, it's just over. Yo, there's no. Wow. Oh, I know why. I know why. The damage falls off this late in the game because he has the Purifying Wind effect applied to himself. So you can't hold up, hold up. Okay, that almost destroyed me. So the damage will fall off when you get this low, when he gets this low on HP, because, uh, ooh, okay. Because he has the purifying wind effect applied to himself. So you can't reduce his defense anymore, All right? And that's one of the big things. One of the main reasons I'm gonna sacrifice these guys. I didn't even need to. God damn. Okay. Y'all need to just die. Just die. Just die. There we go. You two just die. There we go. I didn't want to wait to tag Gambit back in. And I didn't want to use them for any of the damage. So, yeah. Come on. Ah, oh, damn it. Yo, it looks like we're doing no damage because the all defense is no longer being applied. It's still respectable DPS for how crappy I have them built. Like no Uru, still only a crappy obelisk on him, right? And he has no strikers too. So yeah, hey man, 15 is not too bad. You could definitely push up to 20 with a better build on his own. 
maybe even 25 if you have them like level 70 with strikers and a ctp probably 25 against thanos i know 25 doesn't seem that high when we can already get to like 50 against the other bosses but the other bosses are the other bosses they're not thanos okay thanos is a different breed altogether and that's why they're his children so yeah we got a minute 28 left one bar left on him so i feel like i could probably do 17 but that would be pretty damn hairy anyways man we're gonna wrap this one up right here just wanted to give y'all a little bit more variety in y'all lives figured i'll give you guys some gameplay with gambit man leave your thoughts in the comments gambit doing it up one of the only characters in the game that can take down basically every single world boss ultimate stage on his own god damn don't even need that scarlet witch my control or anything my guy out here doing it solo shit